The Cassandra connector for Honk allows users to benefit from a great analytics, visualization, powerful search interface, and a fast in-memory storage. To configure Cassandra to work with Honk, we need three pieces of software. First of all, we need to download the Datastax sandbox. Second of all, we need to download Hunk, you can find that underneath the Splunk website, underneath the products. And the third thing we have to download is the Cassandra app for Hunk. Just search for Cassandra in the Splunk base, and you can find the Cassandra connector for Hunk. In my case, I downloaded the Datastax sandbox for VMware. You can then look at several tables that were already created for us. In my case, I'm going to target my demo around the weather CQL data, and it can show us the data that was already loaded inside of Datastax. Also, we can examine the Datastax Apps Center to look at the tables, and the health of our cluster. We can then go in and install Hunk as well as install the app into this sandbox. Once we have added the Datastax app into Hunk, either through the command line or through the apps manage apps, we can see several configuration that were added to us as part of this app. For example, if you go into settings, virtual indexes, providers, we can see the provider that was given to us out of the box, the, the ERP class that actually makes the connection to Cassandra is part of this provider, as well as if we look underneath the virtual indexes, we see the Cassandra Weather CQL virtual index that was configured for us to query the weather data. At this point, once we made the connection via the provider to Cassandra and we are pointing to the weather data, the only thing we need to do is just search Cassandra and that will automatically populate the Hunk UI with a JSON format data. We can see all the indexed data getting populated. We can examine all of the fields that were populated from Cassandra. We can then do analytics on top of that data, and it will go in from the Hunk UI into Cassandra, give us the data back and populate it and we can then build dashboards, reports or alerts based on the data from Cassandra. If we want to add an additional data set, all we have to do is to go to settings, virtual indexes, click on the virtual indexes and add a new virtual index. To configure the virtual index, all we need is the cassandra.cql.cmd key, which takes a CQL query as its value. However, we can also add additional timestamp key to allow how to pull only a smaller data set. Looking at the Datastax App Center, we can look at some of the other options that we have. Under data, we can see that we can either query the daily, the historical, the monthly, or the station tables. In my case, I'm just going to add the station into a hunk and I'm going to give it a name called Cassandra Weather CQL underscore station and just add a single flag called 
vix.cassandra.sql.command and give the select star from weather secure station and just save it. Once we save it, we have a new virtual index and all we need to do is search through that dataset. And immediately the data comes in and as was the case before, we can analyze it on the fly. And of course, if we wish, we can combine data from the Cassandra virtual index with real-time data we have in Splunk. For example, looking at the executive dashboard, we can see how we can look at the weather data as part of the operational intelligent view as well as the ability to look at other use cases that Splunk can leverage data from Cassandra in security use cases, business analytics, Internet of Things, as well as IT operation and application delivery. Thank you.